Hello, my name is Rick Hill. Thank you for joining me for Godly Play. Today's story is going to be about Joseph. Now, this isn't the Joseph that you've heard about in the story of Mary and the baby Jesus. This is another person by the name of Joseph who lived long before. This is about Joseph in the Old Testament. Last week, I told you about the great family that Abraham and Sarah had a son, Isaac, and their son, Isaac, and his wife, Rebecca, had twin boys, Esau and Jacob. Then Jacob had 12 sons. One of Jacob's sons was his favorite. His name was Joseph. To show his love for Joseph, Jacob gave him a coat of many colors. Now this made the other brothers jealous and made them angry and mad. One night, Joseph had a dream. He dreamed that he and his brothers were out in the field gathering wheat and that the stock that Joseph had, the bundle rose above the others and they bowed down before it. Well, he told his brothers about this dream and it made them even more angry. It made them hate Joseph because they were afraid that Joseph was asking them to bow down before him. Now another night, Joseph had another dream. In this dream, he dreamed about a sun and the moon and the 11 stars and how they all bowed down to him. He told his brothers and his father and his mother about this dream and it made all of them angry because they now thought that they all had to bow down to, to Joseph. So it made them hate him. One day, the brothers were out in the field taking care of the flock of sheep. And Jacob told Joseph, go find your brothers and see how they are doing. And so Joseph went to find his brothers in the field. They saw Joseph coming and they said, Let's kill Joseph. But the oldest son, Reuben, said, no, let's not kill him. Instead, let's take the coat and then throw Joseph in a pit. And that's what they did. They threw him in the pit. Soon, some, a caravan of traders came by and they sold Joseph to the traders as a slave for 12 silver pieces. The brothers took Joseph's coat, they dipped it in goat blood, and they took it back to Jacob, their father, and told Jacob that a wild beast had killed Joseph. Jacob wept. Joseph was taken to Egypt by the traders. And there he was sold as a slave. The Pharaoh's captain of his army by the name of Potiphar bought Joseph. Now Potiphar's wife got angry with Joseph and she had Joseph put in jail. Joseph was in jail with some of the Pharaoh's servants. And they told Joseph about a dream that they had had that was bothering them. And Joseph told them what their dreams meant and interpreted them for them. When the 
servants were released from prison, they found out that the Pharaoh had had some dreams that he didn't, that no one understood. They, one of the servants told the Pharaoh about Joseph. So the Pharaoh asked for Joseph to come and see him. The Pharaoh's dreams was twofold. First, he had a dream about seven fat cows. And then there were seven skinny cows. And the skinny cows ate the fat cows. Then he had a dream that there were seven big, wonderful ears of corn. And then there were seven skinny ears of corn. And the seven skinny ears of corn consumed seven good ears of corn. Joseph told the Pharaoh, he said, in your dreams, God has warned you, has told you about there will be seven good years in which there will be plenty of food, but then there were, it will be followed by seven years of bad when there won't be food. So God is telling you to save and store food during the good years so that your people won't starve during the bad years. The Pharaoh agreed with this. And he put Joseph in charge of keeping and storing the food. The seven good years came and there was plenty of food for the people of Egypt. And Joseph stored part of the food up in preparation for the bad years. Then the bad years came, but the people didn't starve of Egypt because there was still plenty of food that had been saved. Now, the bad years were also happening in the lands near Egypt. So other people were starving because they hadn't saved up food like they had in Egypt. People were coming to Joseph and begging for food. They were coming to Egypt. Even Jacob's family was hungry. And so Jacob sent 10 of his sons to Egypt to ask for food. They traveled to Egypt. There they were shown to Joseph, but they didn't recognize Joseph. But Joseph knew who they were. And Joseph gave them bags of grain and said, Leave one of your brothers here, but the rest of you take the food back to your people. So they all went back. Except for one. Yet there still was hunger and they still were suffering. So they and they had to go back to get their brother. So they all went back. To get more grain, more food. And they came to Joseph again and asked for his help. And they bowed down to Joseph and said, We need your help for more food. This time Joseph told them who he was, that he was their brother. And they all rejoiced and were happy together. And Jacob was glad to see that his son was still alive, that Joseph was still alive. Joseph told his brothers and his father Jacob, he said, God has sent me to preserve life, to save the food that even during the bad years, people will not starve. They all remained in Egypt for the rest of their days. I wonder what part of this story 
you like the best. I wonder, have you had dreams? And maybe you remember those dreams? I wonder, have you ever gotten mad at your brother or sister or your friends? I wonder, was the most important part of this story. Thank you for joining me for Godly Play. I hope you have a wonderful week and I look forward to being with you again next week.